so uh, what is accommodation basically accommodation is a process by which we see the objects which are close to our eye okay it is a process by which we see objects which are very close to our eye near our eye so we can say that focusing of the near objects on the retina is called accommodation okay focusing of near objects on the retina is called accommodation because in our body this process occurs automatically by a reflex so it is called accommodation reflex now as a result of this process basically what happens that uh, our lens which is our present in our eye uh, its refractive power is increased okay the ref refractive power of our lens is increased and the light rays from a close object or the near object they are focused on the retina now uh, this uh, refractive uh, ability to increase the refractive power of the lens it is maximum in children in children this refractive power can be increased from the normal 20 diopters because we have discussed that the normal refractive power of the lens is 20 diopters so in children it can be increased to the maximum that is to about 34 diopters and uh, with age gradually this ability of accommodation it decreases now in this figure we are seeing the process of accommodation on the left side uh, there is an eyeball in which the light rays are coming from a distant object and they are passing first through the cornea and then through the lens and they are focusing on the retina they are focusing on the retina but on the right side you are seeing an eyeball in which the light rays they are coming from an object which is very close to the eyes so diverging light rays are falling on the cornea and then on the lens so note the change in the shape of the lens the lens has become more globular thickened or convex so that the light rays can focus on the retina if the lens would not have acquired this globular or convex shape the light rays coming from the near object they would have focused behind the retina so accommodation by the process of accommodation reflex the light rays which are coming from a near object they are now perfectly focusing on the retina rather than behind it other view in which we have uh, shown the structures which play a role in the process of accommodation and basically it is shown that how the accommodation takes place now you can see that uh, uh, this is a non accommodated eye okay this is non accommodated lens basically uh, this is the ciliary muscle okay ciliary muscle this is ciliary body this is ciliary muscle and uh, ciliary muscle is relaxed okay when uh, there is no accommodation we are seeing distant objects our ciliary muscle is relaxed now the important thing is that you must remember that when the ciliary muscle is relaxed the ligaments suspensory ligaments or they are also called zonular fibers which are attached to this ciliary muscle okay they are taut okay this point must be remembered when the ciliary muscle is relaxed the suspensory ligaments or zonular fibers which are attached to this ciliary muscle they are taut they are under tension so they pull on the lens and make it flattened theek hai ek tarah se isko khinch ke rakhte hain theek hai now what happens when our eye accommodates this is shown in this figure now you can compare it with the figure on the left side now this in this figure our eye has accommodated okay you can see that the ciliary muscle has contracted so uh, we come to know that the uh, main uh, role in the process of accommodation it is of the ciliary muscle it occurs by the contraction of the ciliary muscle so what happens when the ciliary muscle contracts it comes close to the lens okay when the ciliary muscle contracts the important thing to remember is that when it contracts it comes close to the lens so these zonular fibers which give attachment to the lens they are relaxed okay on the left side they were taut but on the right side in the accommodated lens when the ciliary muscle contracts the zonular fibers or suspensory ligaments they 
they are relaxed so the lens which is attached to these suspensory ligaments it also becomes relaxed and it acquires its more globular or thickened or convex shape okay so its refractive power is increased and now it can focus the light rays coming from the near object on the retina now this is again another view on the left side here we are seeing a non accommodated lens this is another view you can see that ciliary muscle is relaxed these are the suspensory ligaments or zonular fibers they are taut and the lens here below it is it is flattened okay the lens is flattened this lens is flattened is it so it is shown here now on the right side the ciliary muscle contracts due to the impulses parasympathetic impulses uh, coming from the uh, edinger westphal nucleus parasympathetic impulses come from there and we will just discuss subsequently the pathway of the accommodation also in which we will, you will see that how the impulses come so when the parasympathetic impulses come the ciliary muscle contracts this is ciliary muscle in in brown so when it contracts the suspensory ligaments or the zonular fibers they are relaxed so they are relaxed and when they are relaxed the lens becomes globular it becomes thickened or convex so now we will discuss the pathway nervous pathway of the accommodation reflex and it is very important regarding the exam point of view or your practical uh, what happens that when the light rays when they do come from any near or close object they fall on the retina okay so on the retina photoreceptors are pre present so from here the impulses go along the optic nerve to the optic chiasma from the optic chiasma the impulses they go to the optic tract and from the optic tract they go to lgn lateral geniculate nucleus or lateral geniculate body now from here the impulses go along the optic radiation okay the impulses glow go along the optic radiation to our visual cortex okay they go to the visual cortex and from the visual cortex they go to the edinger westphal nucleus okay this edinger westphal nucleus it is the parasympathetic nucleus of the third nerve or oculomotor nerve so it sends impulses to the ciliary ganglion and from the ciliary ganglion impulses parasympathetic impulses they go to the short ciliary nerves now here i will uh, i will show you another thing also uh, that is that occurs with the accommodation reflex normally uh, when accommodation reflex uh, occurs there are a couple of things uh, which do occur in our eye along with that but to distinguish these other things from the accommodation reflex we have shown those two changes in purple color okay the main accommodation reflex it is uh, written here in the black color as you can see in this legend also this black color shows accommodation reflex while the associated phenomena which occur with the accommodation reflex and, and they are called near response they are shown in purple color so what are those first thing is that when the impulses go to the visual cortex some impulses also go to the main nucleus of third nerve okay main nucleus here in the accommodation reflex they had gone to the edinger westphal nucleus of the third nerve but the impulses also do go to the main nucleus of the third nerve oculomotor nerve and from there they go to the medial rectus muscle which are the one of the extra ocular muscles of the eye as you know and medial rectus they contract and cause convergence of the eyeballs convergence both eyes they deviate to the medial side so that the near object it comes in clear focus okay the both eyeballs they they move medially so that the near they can clearly see the near object so this is an associated phenomena okay this is an associated phenomena which occurs with the accommodation reflex that is why we have shown it in uh, per, uh, this purple color so we now come back to the accommodation reflex and uh, we see that what happens when the impulses they reach the short ciliary nerve and from the short ciliary nerves the impulses go where so from the short ciliary nerve the muscles uh, the, the impulses they go to the ciliary muscle okay the short ciliary nerve the short ciliary nerve it supplies the ciliary muscle and causes the contraction of ciliary muscle 
now it is a smooth muscle okay and we have discussed that when the ciliary muscle contracts the suspensory ligaments or zonular fibers they are relaxed and as a result the lens become more convex or more globular and its refractive power is increased and uh, as a result of this it causes the image to be focused on the retina so we see that the process of accommodation has occurred now uh, there is an other phenomena which uh, occurs along with this accommodation reflex one uh, is one was that that the there was medial convergence of the eyeball now and other is that the impulses from the short ciliary nerve they also go to the a muscle which is present in the pupil this is called sphincter pupil sphincter pupil sphincter pupilli okay so there are two muscles in the uh, iris sphincter pupilli and dilator pupilli the sphincter pupilli it causes contraction uh, it causes reduced size of the pupil and the dilator pupilli as the name indicates it increases the size of the pupil so uh, in the process of accommodation the impulses parasympathetic impulses they do go from the short ciliary nerve to the sphincter pupilli muscle and cause its contraction so when the sphincter pupilli contracts the pup the size of the pupil it decreases okay we call it pupillary constriction pupillary constriction pupillary constriction happens and it also serves to clearly focus the near object on the retina so along with accommodation reflex two other things happen and uh, this combined it is called near response that is accommodation plus medial convergence of the eyeballs plus pupillary constriction or decreased size of the size of the pupil combined these three process they are together called near response i repeat accommodation along with medial convergence of the eyeballs along with pupillary constriction this three part response this is called near response hope you would have enjoyed this uh, video if you have enjoyed and uh, you have understood this process please consider subscribing this channel and share it for more happy learning to all of you thank you for watching allah hafiz